So our first example of a graph uh, that we're going to make is a bar graph or histogram uh, example in Google Spreadsheets. And I already have my data set up. Uh, in one column, column A, I've got the type of berries uh, that are picked or, or, or collected. And I've got strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and marionberries. So we're going to look at a multiple different berries at the same time. And then in my col uh, second column, column B, I've got pounds of berries collected. So how many pounds that I've collected of each of these? And I've got lots of strawberries. Uh, less blueberries, a few blackberries, and not very many marion berries. And so I've got my data set up, and Google's pretty particular about how you set up your data uh, in a table in order to graph. This is how you you want your data set up in a in the in the spreadsheet so that Google can can graph it. So I've got them in two different columns, and to actually make the graph, I'm going to highlight just these cells that my data is in, including row three which includes the the titles or the uh, labels for each of these different um, sets of data so I've got all of those highlighted and I'm gonna click the button that says insert chart and so we insert a chart and Google automatically will recommend some different types of charts and since we're looking at um, we have data that has a category we don't want a pie graph we're not necessarily comparing in this case so we want to do a column chart um, you could also do a bar chart, which Google calls a bar graph. Uh, it's kind of just a switched, um, uh, the axes are switched. Uh, usually it's probably better to do a column chart. We can see that uh, Google takes this information and sets it up in a nice chart for us. And so really the only other last couple things that we need to do are add in a title and add in some labels for our axes. You can see we already have <clears throat> excuse me, a, a legend here or a key with pounds of berries collected. So to actually edit this chart, I want to go to Customize, and I can put in, uh, if I scroll down a little bit, there's an option to label my axes, and I want to title the horizontal type of berries collected. And then I also want to label my vertical or my left vertical axis, and on this one I want this to be pounds of berries, and I want to make sure that I use units. And if I'd like to, I can also change the color of my bars here. Right now it's blue. Maybe I want to change it to green. Here we go. And now I just want to add in a title. So the title would be the uh, pounds of berries collected per berry type. Really all I'm doing is just combining my two axes here. I've got type of berries collected and I've got pounds of berries collected. So I've got pound of berries collected per berry type. Once I'm done with that, I want to click insert. And it will then insert my graph into the spreadsheet. If you want to input this or upload this to a blog post or input it into Google Docs or do something else with it, the easiest way to do that is to click this little down arrow and you can save your image as an image file. If you realize you want to make a change or you want to adjust something, you can also click Edit Chart, and it will bring this edit chart editor back up. And so that's a bar graph. Next up, we'll look at a line graph.